Hello, and welcome to another episode of Glory of Golden State Gaming. I'm your host, Swamp Swimmer, and today we will be talking about my tournament that I run in uh, San Francisco, California, the North American Team Championships, uh, previously known as Pack Rim. Um, I just want to make a quick video with you guys today to go over all the information uh, surrounding the tournament and hopefully answer uh, any questions that any of you have and hopefully we get a bunch of signups this year and I'm super stoked to be running it uh, in December. So let's go ahead and go over to the website. The website will be linked in uh, the description of this video, but it is ninthagenatc.wordpress.com. Pretty simple. I didn't want to pay for the, the, the straight uh, web domain, but um, hopefully this will work. So as you can see here, it's going to be in San Francisco on December 11th and 12th of this year. Uh, that's kind of the weekend directly between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, first, let's talk about if you have a team that wants to sign up, all you need to do is go to this first page up here, the sign up page, fill out all this information and click submit and it'll go directly to me. Um, you can also just directly email uh, ninth age natc at gmail.com and I will get those emails also. Um, so we might as well jump into currently we have one team signed up and that is good old Aaron Sean Vespasian himself's team run by Ben from Seattle and then Brandon Evan and Tim over from Phoenix area. They're the first ones to sign up. I'm excited to have them there and but I know there are a bunch of teams out there that have uh, two, three, or four players, and they're looking for one more. If you are in this case, I have multiple players that are looking for teams, and I have groups of maybe two or three people that are looking for teams. Please email me also, or post on this video if you want. Uh, just get the word out there, and we will get you paired up with um, with other teams. And I guess I should have mentioned this earlier. The North American Team Championships is set up as the same same style as ETC, the European Team Championships. North American Team Championships is a five-man ETC style team tournament, five rounds over two days. Uh, let's see here. Let's talk about payment. So this tournament, since I'm running this in San Francisco, California, it is a little expensive. Uh, if you pay before November 11th, which is a month before uh, the tournament, it is $50. If you pay after that, it is $60. If you plan on playing in cash or a check, uh, let me know and we'll work something out. You can either mail it to me or um, you can sign up and say that's what you're doing and um, you can pay me at the event. Um, uh, I prefer to receive the payments from PayPal. Please send it to ninthagenatc at gmail.com on PayPal. Make sure to click friends and family. That makes sure it doesn't take out any charge from that and uh, any percentage from it, and it'll send it directly to me. All right. So I recently, today, finished the rule pack for the NATC. Uh, we'll be going over that last, but if you wish to download that for yourself, it's on the website under the rule pack uh, tab. All right, location. We will be having this at the Holiday Inn San Francisco Golden Gateway. This is right smack dab in the middle of San Francisco, very close to North Beach if you want to go to any of the tourist attractions uh, that San Francisco has to offer. It's right downtown and it's right off um, Polk Street, which is where tons of restaurants, tons of bars, everything will be included in there. So in the actual tournament, I am not supplying any food but there are tons of options there. I will be supplying some alcoholic adult beverages for everyone, but food uh, is up to you. It's also because the hotel won't let me bring in outside food. But this is the location. Um, so people traveling into town, couple things. Um, I re recommend flying into San Francisco International Airport, SFO, or um, Oakland International Airport. I think it's OAK. Um, both of those are pretty much equal distance to the venue. Um, San Francisco Air International Airport's a little bit closer, but either of those airports would work. Uh, if you plan on renting a car, I would recommend not doing that. Parking downtown, I believe, is 
$30 a day at the hotel and you can get a little cheaper at some of the parking garages near the hotel, but um, taking a Lyft or an Uber or a taxi is much cheaper and once you're at the hotel there's plenty of stuff within walking distance. Uh, if When you travel out here, I highly recommend you stay at the hotel. Uh, it, this is a big Holiday Inn, uh, nice rooms right downtown. I have negotiated a room rate of $129 plus tax, US dollars uh, per night. If you wish to book that, please use the link on the website here. And then um, uh, for the group enter ninth age, ninth age tournament. And that should come up with $129 uh, nightly rate. Uh, I believe you can also call up and make the reservation and just mention ninth age tournament and that will work also. Um, let's see here. That's, that's all I have for the tournament. Um, please check it out. Any questions you have, please email me, ninthagematc at gmail.com. And lastly, let's go into the rule pack. So there's the rule pack. Oh, sorry about that. Here we go. So general information, um, I'm trying to have as close as I can to three hour games. So with the pairing process, which is 20 minutes and the game, it's about three hours, 10 minutes per round. Uh, here's the daily schedule, the basic rules. Also, uh, weeks ago, actually months ago, I sent out a survey about whether my, this tournament should include the expansion, the supplementary books, which are uh, Asklanders, Cultists, Makar, and Hobgoblins and also the giant supplement about whether these should be used at the North American Team Championships. Roughly two thirds of all respondents uh, said they would like this to be included. So I have chosen to, you can use any of the four supplementary books and also any of the armies can use the giant supplement. Well, the train I'll be setting up at the tournament, so I can't give you specifics on that, but um, scenarios I will have out closer to the tournament date. Uh, we will also be following the pair, the five team five man team pairing process, which is described here. It's also the same that ATC uses. So if you have any questions, please email me about that also. So okay, about the scoring, I, I made one little change this year. Um, basically, in the there's been a lot of discussion about whether soft scores, which are sportsmanship and painting, should be included in the overall winners. Um, uh, point values. Um, two years ago when we held this, the those soft scores did influence who won the tournament. So I made a small change that I separated the sportsmanship and the paint scores into the basic sportsmanship and paint scores and then the extra sportsmanship and paint scores. And all that is included in the overall points is the base Point scores for those so for instance sportsmanship after every game every player answers did you have a fun time in this game was it a bad game for any reason hopefully all of those should be yeses for every game in the tournament um, these point values will be uh, factored into the overall point score these points only add up to about 12% of the entire points possible for overall so it's not that big but um also, I want to make sure everyone's a good player and not uh, not uh, not power gaming. Uh, and then appearance, the base appearance scores is basically if your army has three colors on it, it's an assembled model, and the base is painted also, which can be one of those three colors. Very simple base um, level that people need to have their armies at. If you, if you have these base levels, which everyone should, there's really, um, that's what's gonna factor into the overall point score, which should be a, 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 a bare base level. But if you don't, then that will affect your, the team's overall score. So for X-Men sport, extra sportsmanship, that's basically, you know, if you get voted best team you played against, extra appearance is uh, more points for how well you paint your army and then also uh, player's choice of um, at the end of the tournament, everyone will be voting for their favorite uh, team of uh, armies. 
So that's basically uh, it. The overall cap awards will be overall champ, best general, best sports, and best paint. Uh, and lastly, um, we all know that COVID-19 is having a resurgence in the United States. As of right now, um, uh, events are still being held in San Francisco. And there is no mask mandate in San Francisco. But if things change, we will follow what the city of San Francisco requires. Uh, that may include um, having masks and it may include canceling the event. More information to come on that, but please stay tuned. So it's a quick video. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I, I encourage everyone to sign up for my tournament. I We had two, last year we didn't have it because of COVID, but two years ago we had, what was it, 12 teams? Yes, yeah, 12 teams with five players, with 60, we had 60 players last year. I'd love to get this amount this year. I know there are teens considering coming from Mexico, from Canada. I know there's a few people considering coming from Europe. Please get signed up, please come out. We're gonna have a good time nonetheless. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and uh, have a good evening.